see those nerds earlier, Artosis? I feel like it's Lord of the Rings, and those that's the uh, the party of nerds. Is that the party of nerds? Yeah, man. They're trying to make sure that foreigners have a presence at GSL. They do. It's not quite walking the ring to Mordor, but it needs to be done just the same. And there's also no ring that you throw into Mordor to destroy. Bit, well, so. one nerd is about to be thrown into Mordor. Actually, in a yeah, one here. nerd is going to go straight to Mordor. Which is where you end up being. That's right. Knocked into. You know what? Basically, Code A round one, that is lava. Okay. Oh, yeah. You watch nerds that lose there, and it's just like Smeagol sticking his hand up trying to like not be in lava. But like, guess what, buddy? You're in lava. You're done. It's over. You and, then the, and you know what it's like when he dropped in the lava? It's like that part in Terminator 2, except instead of the thumbs up as he goes in the lava, it's thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Finn against Parting. These guys aren't going to any lava yet. One of them is going to make it into yeah, Sauron's good graces. This, Yeah, this is the one where one nerd gets out of this group. The other one has to play yet another match. I think it's going to be... That was a great metaphor. I'm, I am, I'm a poet, and I was not even aware oh my God. of it. All right. Finn and Parting. Who will move on and who will stay in this group playing game number five? We're going to find out soon. This is the GSL Code S in Seoul, Korea. In the bottom left, we have our Red Terran dominating Oz in that game. Can he do it to this Protoss who I think might be better in this matchup? We'll see. His ID is... OGS Pin. His opponent in the upper right, a very dominant PvT player. Will he get out of this group? We will see. Tatu Pati. Uh oh. <laughs> what? No, nothing. We just had GSL sign being put up behind the booth. Got an image of that. Ah. Someone stealing props from the set. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, uh, last time we saw a parting scout on nine and go Nexus first on this map. This game instead, scouting on 12 after gateway. He's still going to get in there and before Marine can stop him. And note he's actually checking key locations in case there's a hidden uh, barracks. Yeah, of course. He wants to know about that. And uh, so, you know, this time neither player going for just eco straight away. And it's smart for Parting to switch that up, because if I'm Finn, I'm like, you know what? These Protosses and their Nexus first on this map, gosh darn it. I'm going to do something uh, to kill that this time, perhaps. So, smart move by Parting, just to be safe and cognizant that Finn could be thinking something like that after yeah. watching his games. And, you know, from some of those uh, results, previous results that we had seen before, it's very clear that they are both good on this map. Now, there's a probe hidden back there. See? Just right there. Can the Marine see him? I don't know. Oh, sick. I think, oh, sick. He didn't check. Wowzers. Zoiks. <laughs> Zoiks. Is that what they say in Scooby-Doo? I wouldn't know. I don't watch that terrible show. Well, it's a terrible show, but, I mean, you had to have seen some of the episodes. No. I, I tried to never watch Scooby-Doo as a child. I hate it. You know oh, that, that probe didn't actually do that much, did it? I, I, was there ever Scooby-Doo where it actually turned out to be a ghost? No. Those kids were a couple of dumbasses, man. Every time they're like, oh, it's a ghost. I can't believe it. No, man. Yeah. It's that old guy that's running the carnival. <laughs> it always is that guy. He would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you rotten kids mm. and your dog. Yeah. I don't think I would ever be a crime solver. Why? Why wouldn't you be a crime solver? It's dangerous. You kidding me? People do crimes? You kidding me? You think I want to be involved with those people? You it's crazy? True, actually. Would you do that? Well, if it was like it is in like C like CSI or whatever, which it isn't. Like, did you know that you actually you can't do um, jury duty if you watch CSI? Really? Yeah, that's actually one of the criteria. Oh. If you watch, I believe Law and Order or CSI, because that will actually skew the way that you think wow. like, evidence can be acquired. Oh my god, that's actually so fascinating. Yeah, like, I mean, do you know how rare it is in, like, these cases where they're like, hmm, they pull out that tool, 
they like scan the tablecloth. There's like, there's semen on the tablecloth. Like, We're gonna need to test it. it, it Does no. anyone have a tablecloth without semen on it? Uh, I know exactly, right? No, but, no, but seriously, it's just like, it, it's just it, but yeah. So if you ever want to do jury duty, say that um, that you watch Law and Order. You know what I say is, oh, uh, I live in Korea. <laughs> Bro, come back and do your jury. No, no, man. All right, so parting this game, actually doing that build I was talking about before, a one gate expand into second expand, and he's likely to fold this up with a huge pressure. And the funny thing about the huge pressure is, if Terran screws up at all, the pressure can kill him, but it's actually designed as a pressure. Trust me on this one. So, uh, it's, it's a brilliant move, because it's hard to cover everything with just gateway units with no upgrades at this point, but it's easy to do a focused, powerful attack. So that's what he does. It's actually, it's a brilliant build. It's one of the smartest builds I've seen, but oh, he's actually going for a really quick robo, so he's not actually going to go for that build I was just talking about. That's too bad. I hate it when that happens. I was excited. Yeah. Because uh, that's, it's uh, actually a really cool build. Oh well. Anyways, uh, he's just going to have to hold on as best he can. Uh, Finn has gone super economy as well. He does have his third command center. But he's not really scouting a lot right now, so unless he does a scan, he's not going to know for sure that there's a third base. But his economy is going to be similar off of three orbitals so quickly. All right, I like these uh, builds, both of them so far. Yeah, they're both uh, Harding pretty really, safe. You know, he's really not afraid to take a third base. No, he's not. He is just... He's the least afraid. I, I think that this, uh, you know, in the next maybe uh, three or four months, we're going to see Protoss is always doing this. It's interesting to see how StarCraft yeah, 1 is turning into StarCraft 2. The Star Protoss is actually yeah. are going... I'm, I'm sorry, when StarCraft 2 is turning into StarCraft 1, excuse yeah, yeah. me. Um, where they're actually taking... Uh, Protoss is just taking a third base. Yeah. It's uh, it's really cool to see. You're very right about that. Uh, always knew it would happen. I'm going to go ahead and say I told you so, everyone in the entire world. Um, I believe you are Tosis. Of course, man. You're a StarCraft 1 pro. Now, uh, he's got a good map control here. We've got the Zelnaga Watchtower out here. I'm interested. Okay, you move those sentries. For those appeared where there were three sentries down. <laughs> that other expansion location. <laughs> like, well, that's an interesting little defense point. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he's he's making that pylon in that place we talked about before that Finn actually made a deep in last time, but didn't this time. Uh, and it looks like he is going to go through with a pressure anyways. Just a slightly different build than I recall him doing before. Do you, do you feel that this pressure could work because Finn did get that third command center? I don't expect it to actually kill, but it's going to keep him in his base. It's going to scare him. It's going to make him play a little bit defensive for a bit. And in fact, oh, he gets ah! the observer. Very nice. Some ghosts are on the way. Well, he's actually just serious about this, isn't he? All right, he will get that bunker. What? And he's got to be careful here because he only has so many force fields. He doesn't actually want to let that whole army out because he will lose that battle. Uh, he this is like the weirdest engagement I've seen. Yeah. See, now he actually, this did a lot for him, though. You know, he didn't lose too, too much. He lost a little bit more than he wanted. Uh, but he did get to see, for instance, what Finn has. He forced right. some stims. He killed a unit or two. Cost him a little bit of mining time. And, you know, during this time, he allowed more of his tech to get up. His, uh, you know, forges are on the way. His Twilight Council is on the way. And so he is going to actually be feeling pretty okay after that. You know, as long as you don't lose all your sentries and your stalkers during that pressure, it's pretty worthwhile. It's a good way to probe and... You know, if Finn had been super greedy in some way, then there was always that potential to kill. Okay, so it uh, looks a good defense here from Parting. He's got his stalkers up in the main, uh, while still keeping the pressure on. And I think, what, five stalkers is probably the ideal number. I believe, when, no, actually, Medivac dies in eight shots, right? The stalker? I don't want to say I know the number, I, but I five is a good number Five is a good number, but, yeah, yeah. I think four, four is not. Four, I, I, if I my Protoss brain works right, I want no, I, five I, stalkers in my main. But I believe it's I believe it, it, so. Oh man, I actually I used on to a know big this. Main, on a big main, I do five or six stalkers and three zealots, and that really? will crush any. But I, one it, or is, two it is eight stalker shots, I think, to kill a medivac. Okay. Gonna, gonna, granted, the medivac I mean, might can. might start unloading before, because that one stalker in the back doesn't actually get it. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, 
But yeah, I mean, if you want to have safety, have the zealots there, so that way, even if they land, then yeah, they're in trouble. It, on a big main, that's how I go about it. If I yeah. have reservists everywhere, I keep five stalkers in the main. Anyways, so Finn is getting ready to do some damage here. He okay. does have ghosts out, be, so if he can get careful. EMPs, if he gets EMPs, this whole oh, sick oh my EMPs. god. Sentries uh, really in a lot of trouble. They do get Guardian Shields up. He could just kill everything yeah. down here. He needed Force Fields to cut up that army and let his Zealots actually hit. He doesn't have Charge yet. It's almost done, though. 1-1 one, one almost done as well. His Stalker's coming down to help out. But I think and all the Zealots charge. are going to be dead by the time Charge actually just comes about. into play. Very crisp timing attack here by Finn. Dealing a uh -oh. ton of damage so far. A lot more Zealots being morphed in. So he has to be careful now. The Zealots going to help out a lot. There are no medevacs. So every stim he does, every shot he takes, then he's going to take a lot of damage on these. And it looks like he is going to have to back up. So Oz does hold for now, but, you know, Finn is doing a great job. He's up by know, 30 supply uh, and taking his third base. It's, it's partying. What, who did oh, I you say? You said Oz. Oh, I was just... No, no it's fine. It's fine. We, like, just watched this map. <laughs> of <laughs> With those these guys? Yeah. yeah, anyways. Of course, it is, uh, in fact, partying. Our SCVs are under attack. All right, so uh, these two zealots over here, a little bit of a thorn in Finn's paw. I thought Finn was a shark, not a lion. Well, and that's the tough thing. He's got a he's got a fin like a shark, and then he's got paws. You know, first of all, paws are not for playing StarCraft. He's a manticore. A what? A manticore? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, it's fine. I'm sorry. Listen, nerd wannabe. I'm a poser nerd. Get with your nerd lord. All right, is he going to see that observer floating over? No, he's not. That would have been a great moment to uh, gun that down. Mm -hmm. Three ghosts mixed in there. Psystorm not quite done. Yeah, he does have a good number of high templars. He's got to get that Psystorm. Eight more seconds left in that Psystorm. He did get that uh, um, sentry as well. And he's going to get the other one as well, too. Now parting, if he gets these side storms actually off, it's going to be great. And some oh good EMPs going man. off. Side storms coming a little bit late, and Ben actually dodging quite well. Got to be careful, can't engage that with stalkers. In fact, he's in a lot of trouble here. Great yeah, job by Ben. Here, healing. Oh. That was a money one. There is another couple money ones right there, Tasteless. And. Well, Finn's army is very low on health, and this Zealot Warpin should be able to push it back for now. You know, this is one of the issues with this map and how long it is. You know, if this was a slightly shorter map, like we saw before in Entomb Valley with Colt playing, he could have been rallying up a lot more units during this time, but the rally is so far away that it's not nearly as helpful, and defenders really get a much bigger advantage in battles on this map. Yeah, also note the supply count here. Finn with a substantial lead of 160, well, 170 to 130. So, uh, that's very telling. Oh. Um, I don't know if I agree with, with what Parting's doing right now at all. Yeah, kind of a crazy This is actually there. an insane with move those here. those spellcasters there, uh, he's going he's to get intercepted. Yeah, he might lose some more units here. He does not want to lose these units. Uh, another Stalker, Inzala, going down. He could keep Just stimming and chasing this. That's right. How much does he want to stim, though? All right, two more Zelts being made to hit this location over here. Good choice. He is getting ready for that fourth base, parting at the same time, taking his fourth in the bottom right. A lot of barracks under construction. Yep. Really getting his macro going. In fact, Finn, I really like this, is adding another starport with reactor. Something we don't normally see unless your opponent's going Colossus. But he wants to get a lot of medevacs out and be ready just in case Colossus tech does come up. But you can beat Colossus with just this infantry mixture. Yeah. Uh, you just have to have this, like, beautiful arc where you just sort of close in. And not just that, you have to have a, normally a tempo advantage. Because if you're really, if you just sit there and you're like, I'm only going to go bio. Because that's actually something that's gained popularity since StarCraft 1 players have been playing the Korean server a little bit more. Is just pure macro of Marine Marauder medevac. And uh, if you really take your time as a Colossus builder, and you build a lot of them, you have enough force fields uh, to really dice stuff up, it can be pretty hard. So a lot of it right. depends on tempo advantage. All right, here well. we go. Okay, now you, th those storms were completely ineffectual. 
And oh my god, uh, Finn is actually taking the top center as well. Finn is just taking the whole Oh my map. god, yeah, he's actually making command centers absolutely everywhere. And uh, it, Oz, I don't know if I like this I don't move. know, like, I don't, no, no, pardon, you mean. I, uh, yeah, it, I, I'm sorry, I keep doing that. No, it's okay. Uh, he looks like he's gonna just send some of his army. Like, in, I don't know what he's think that he thinks he's gonna do. Well, this is the worst area for Zealots to be. Like, I mean, all these small corridors, Zealots don't get any surface it's area. Like watch him try to move through an ant farm. Yeah, but he is hitting the second and third bases. So even though every unit in the main is cleaned up easily, doing almost no damage. Uh, the natural in the third base taking a lot of economical damage here. This is actually only 27 SCVs to 80 probes. He has killed 51 SCVs this game. Absolutely phenomenal play by Parting. And it looks like he will not manage to take out this orbital. Uh, but I, I gotta say, guys, I mean, even though it looks like Finn has a lot of presence on the map, he has, I, again, I'm gonna repeat it, 27 SCVs to 80 probes. Yeah, that's, it's insane. But, that's, you know, uh, that's that's a hard thing to actually deal with. I mean, yeah, he has mules. He has mules with Terran still in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but uh, seriously, I mean, this is a very difficult situation to deal with. Um, here's some nice storms. Oh, storming a little bit more of the Zealots oh, there. Some really nice storms. Now, here's the question. Did well. Oz overextend himself and sending his whole army over there to go Harding. back and kill us? <laughs> now you're now doing I'm it. Doing, God damn it. All right. All right, there are a ton of Zealots right now for parting. Oz's army right now is mostly in the orange area of health. All right, so the Zealots can do all right. Army. Yeah, pumpkin army. Well, here we go. He just stims, so he has a lot of red and deep orange here. A lot of Zealots coming up in time. Medivacs not being utilized. Zealots. Yeah, the Medivacs all getting out of range, but they've all basically been fed back. And uh, so they aren't going to be able to heal that much. But more I units don't up. know about this. I mean, this is a... Pretty daunting army. We got your oh, EMP. Wow, sickest EMP of life right there. And killing off a lot more zealots, but more and more zealots being morphed in. His money is going very low at this point. He does have oh, 16 counter gas, though. Counterattack the zealots over here, the expansion. Oh, a very powerful one indeed. He doesn't have a lot of SCVs right now. He can't lose too much. But Finn's army still has to be dealt with. Parting in a lot of trouble still at his main base. He's now going for the gateways. We're going to see if we can get a size storm to come up here. This is 200 energy, so that's a lot of good storms. Oh, man. Uh, that second one was a whip. Uh, it looks like if these SCPs repair the planetary. Well, nope, he's going to back up. Uh, now going for the gateways. That's less zealots. Yes, this it is. game is actually out of control. I don't know who's going to win this. Well, Parting's coming down his ramp. He has a pretty decent army right now. Oh, my now. God, he got the Nexus as well. Oh, very well Guys, done. this is a very tough game to follow here uh, yeah, it is. for all of us right now. Uh, he's doing a great job taking out the zealots. Well, uh, Mike Green back. Uh, yes, that's a parting and not Oz. You should keep referring to him as. Uh -huh. um, well, parting, uh, even though he has a supply lead here, uh, we have Finn with a very strong army. He has a lot of units at home. Now I got 20 SCVs to 68. Um, wow. So, yeah, uh, uh, Finn's got the big scary army, and, and most of Parting's army is actually workers, but Parting does have slightly better upgrades. Finn okay. only at 3 2 against 3 1 3. He really should have had a bunker or something like that in that uh, middle third base. Yeah, that's that's been a point of contention here for him. Really nice storms there by Parting. Once again, really showing uh -oh. his style. This is uh, one of the more technical games I've seen in a long time. We've had some great TVPs today. Yeah, this has been a, a beautiful day for TVPs thus far. Colossus Switch. But does Parting have enough of a meaty army to cover Colossus? Yeah, that's that's actually quite true. You have to have a lot of ar army on your Colossus, but don't forget that together, uh, Colossus and High Templar is an insane combination. It's just so cost effective. All right, he's going to get these uh, Archons over here. All right, and more Archons being shot. Uh oh. A lot of damage being done, but there you go. He lures them into Psy Storms. That's something Parting just loves doing, does better than anyone else. Psy Storms blanketing everything. A lot of damage nice. down, and uh oh. Now, with that Colossus out, it's going to become harder and harder for Finn. He has to decide, do I switch to Vikings? And I think the answer is probably no. This game is too scrappy. He's too low. And his All right, nice. Actually he gets another Templar. Um, well, I think Party might be able to push right in here. 
Yeah, it's definitely a possibility with that many size firms and the Colossus to really poke so things can't kite as well. All right, he's coming out here to try to assassinate those Templars. Great job turning them into an Archon before dying. This Arch game is ac actually completely off the hook. Yeah, it is. I am <laughs> both, both of them just playing extremely well, yes. but at this no, point... Harding's only income is at the bottom right. Oh, wow, that's actually that's actually He's a very barely mining from his natural at this point, you know. It's, uh oh it's rough, and here he goes again. Can he kill off this army of Finn? If he does, the game should be his. Finn's supply is plummeting. He's almost half now, 76 to 141. But Harding has to be careful. If he loses that group of units, then the game swings back into Finn's favor. Nice control here, hitting all those uh, uh -oh. zealots and avoiding the Colossus yes. fire as much as possible. A Saint Colossus coming to oh, join the battle. And more Templars. That I should think, be enough. Yeah, I think that will terminate this game, even though it was so close. Finn could have come back. Well, actually, the Marauders. No, I'm kidding. It's it's over, I believe. I think GG. Um, or not for GG. Finn here. Um, I think processing the loss, and yes, yeah. GG. All right, well played by both players. Now, let's not forget Parting. This is one of his maps, man. He's he's just a deadly nerd on Daybreak. A very good map for PVT yeah. overall. Yeah, And he shows us exactly why. Really strong play, but Finn really impressing me in this group so far. Killed Oz off against Parting. It was still a pretty good game. And on, you know, a hard map, so... We'll see what the next I thought is. Finn was going to win when I saw him throw down those additional bases. I thought, oh my god, if he gets... Yeah, that looked good. If he gets those up in the planetaries... Oh, yeah. The, the, it, it, if, if, he, if you couldn't make planetaries as Terran, that would have been a very bad idea, but just mm. be... I mean, he's you're not even taking those bases as much to mine from them as to just have a planetary occupying that location. That's a very good point. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just the amount of SCVs that actually were killed off there. Uh, that's what's crucial. He yeah. killed off... At that point, when he was thrown out of the command centers after the next attack, 51 SCVs had been killed. Right. That is just too much economy loss, and Finn could not keep up the production that he needed to overwhelm the mass size storms of Had he kept more of his SCVs alive, I think that Finn would have won. Oh, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. If he had only lost, let's say, 20 SCVs instead of 51, I think the game is completely his. Right, right. But parting, you know, he's good at what he does. He's good at just stretching the game out and uh, really dealing with those Marine Rodables. Even when um, you know he took out that Nexus in those gateways, Finn did, uh, in the entrance, the natural expansion there, of Parting's base, I thought, wow, well, this is going to be really tough, but Parting uh, did do that good counterattack. All right, uh, game number two will be on dual site. Cool. Cool. Site. Sweet. This map, you know, it, it normally favors Terran, and Finn is very good at cheesy one base stuff, which is what this map is oftentimes very good for. So let's see what parting opens with. Will he go for fast expansion, his own aggression, or a defensive robotics open? All right, it's time for game number two. Finn against parting. Who's going to win? We're going to find out here in this round of the GSL Code S.